Good morning from Bangkok, everybody. Good evening to those of you in other parts of the world, like Cindy Paris uh, and uh, and others. I'm going to unmute you guys real quickly here, uh, so we can get the get the show on the road here today. Um, and if you guys can hear me, good morning, Jennifer. Good evening, Jennifer. That is, hey Lee. Um, if you guys can hear me, you don't even have to put it in the chat box. You can start to actually talk as you see me unmuting yourself. And if you have noise in the background, I'll let you guys self mute. All you got to do is just move your mouse over the little yeah. microphone next to your next to your head, and uh, we're good to go. How is everybody today? Great. Great. So w where are you guys all coming in from? Normally, I can I can have you type in, but since I've unmuted you, so we can all talk to each other. Um, you can all talk to me. So where's everybody coming in from today? Sydney. Sydney, great. Colorado. Yay. <laughs> Washington State. Welcome to go to Oh, I, I hear a good. Well, great. Okay, excellent. I mean, I mean, Margaret. Okay. Today, he's a multi-millionaire. Must have been Margaret. I see. Yeah, that was Margaret. Nope, that wasn't he, Deepak. Okay, someone is, let me see who's making all that noise. Uh, yeah, it's Margaret. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm Margaret, I'm muting you because you've got a lot of background noise going on. And that should, oh, and, and Glenn, I think maybe it's Glenn. No, nope, but Glenn, that's weird. Oh, I, I see what happened here. Hang on. Okay, that's it. It was you, Glenn, that was making all that background noise, so I've just muted you. Um, if, if you, you want to add something, just put in the chat box. I'll keep the question box open and, and, uh, and we'll be good from there. Okay. Um, Jennifer, can you hear me? Oh, you muted yourself in the background there. Okay. Oh, okay. Were you making noise in the background? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, okay. Here comes Matt. I was waiting for Matt to come in so that we could, we could start everything. Well, I, I, I forgot to, to, um, to freeze my screen before we started. So, you guys were watching were watching my uh, my screen as I was getting getting prepped for this. So, you you the, my my news is sort of um, old at this point, like by by second. So, I'll start out I'll start out first of all with with the with the with the update on what's been going on, and then um, we'll go into some questions and feedback and so on. Okay, so we decided as we were as we were looking at our branding for. Um, for both the product as well as for the company, that um, we needed a better name, and we also did not want to to use WordPress in the name of the of the product because we really didn't feel that it was going to add enough value. In fact, I thought it was going to devalue what what we are. Oh, good. Thanks for for hanging up on the Skype call, <laughs> Matt. Um, so we removed the WP because the, because if people perceive it as a WordPress plugin. It does have a lesser value, even though, like Wishlist Member and some of the other higher level uh, uh, software written for WordPress, it's it, technically it's a plugin, but value from a value added standpoint, it's you know it's a, it's a, it's a significant software tool. Software tool. Um, and S Sandra, I'm going to mute. Uh, I'm going to mute you, and or if you mute yourself in the back, that would be great because there's some background noise coming. Yeah, just just mute yourself in the back. Uh, that'll make things easier uh, for us. Thank you. Good morning, Gary. I'm going to unmute you. Um, so anyway, we, we've rebranded it. It is now known as iBoostify, which is our brand name now. It's, it's, it's our total branding, and it's the iBoostify site wrap, uh, which uh, gives it a much, I think, much more, more stable name. And as we grow it, we've added a lot of, a lot of new features that you'll be, seeing, uh, you'll be seeing some of them today, and I'll be telling you more about some of the other ones. Um, we're good to go. And so, Gary, we gave you, we gave you your midday, early on, not middle of the night time, time for this. I did that for everybody, everybody in Australia. And so when Cynthia says she loves the name, thank you. So what do you think? Thank you. Is site wrap or page wrap? Well, Gary, I can barely hear you. Can you speak up? I beg, beg your pardon. Is site wrap or page wrap? Uh, site wrap. Um, and we thought about page wrap, and um, and we we decided to go with site wrap. I don't remember the exact reason why. But um, I think good at the time. what's that sounded good at the time. I it did, yeah. So so there we are. <laughs> um, so and thank I, th you I think for changing the time, I just come back in from having spent an hour on the beach in the water, watching surfers, 
uh, well, dolphins. Well, thank you for sharing that. And I, um, I'm looking at the Bangkok skyline. Someone's making a lot of noise, shuffling a lot of things in the background. Um, so, and, and Cynthia says, uh, thank you, Cynthia, for jumping in for me. It, it, I'm still sort of halfway waking up, uh, so I apologize. Uh, you're wrapping another site in your page. And that was the way I saw it, too. Um, so, so uh, it, and I think site, site gives a, 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 bigger, a bigger feel. So anyhow, so that's it. That's, the, that's our new branding. That's our new logo. Um, we're, we're, we're going to take it out of beta a little bit sooner than I had planned. Um, and what you're going to see today is some of the updated features that, that are being added. And I had anticipated that we would be ready for a full rollout of the features today. Um, there are a couple of little glitches that Matt experienced over the weekend. So I'm going to show you the capabilities that we've got and what's, what's going on with them. Um, and then they'll be rolled out within probably the next 24 to 48 hours. So, um, um, that's, that, that's where we are with them. Cause I, 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 we had, you know, as with anything, a great anticipation and, um, reality sometimes, sometimes gets in the way. So, uh, okay. Someone's making a ton of noise in the background. I can't tell who it is, um, shuffling things around. So if that's you, would you just do me a favor and just mute yourself? Thanks. I'd really appreciate that. Cool. Okay. Nope. Not okay. What's whoever you are moving things around, please just mute yourself. Okay. All right. So, um, Matt, you want to uh, you want to jump in bef uh, and let everybody know what's uh, what the new stuff is, and then we'll get into some feedback stuff. Oh, Matt muted himself. Great, maybe he was the one making all the noise. All right, well, I'm going to take you to. Let me see if I can refresh this. I'm going to take you to um, boosterpractice.com, and in the future, like later today, it, everything will be held at iboostify.com. But um, Matt's got everything still here at. At BYP, so you'll still continue to get your downloads where they are. I think um, I think my guys got a little bit ahead of themselves and put. If you're new to this, they put in a um, a download link to the new to the updated software, which really isn't ready for you yet. So if you've downloaded that, <laughs> um, you probably haven't, because I think it came up, came up during during the middle of our night. But let me let me um, first of all show you what's uh, what's going on, because actually you're you're in the you're in the, the option page right now. First of all, if you'll find you'll find it in the uh, you'll find the software once you load it. And for everyone that's new, we've got a lot of new people here today. Um, when you install the software, it's going to look a little bit different. It's going to look like, in fact, I don't have anything with the old installation right now, unfortunately. But it'll say WP Brand Wrapper. When we when you install the new version, which will be sometime tomorrow, it will say iBoostify with our new branding. And what you'll do is you'll go down to site wrap. And when you do, and by the way, it'll still have our little, our little rocket ship. When you do, you're going to see um, our new creation page. You're going to see our defaults. And then you're going to see our brand new sales funnel tool. So first of all, um, on the defaults, you, right now it's a, it says target URL. That is going to go away because it, it, Matt and I have had a difference of opinion on it. But the cool thing is I get to win. Um, you don't need a defaulted target because every page, the fact that you're creating it, makes makes some difference. So we're taking out the target URL just to eliminate any kind of confusion. We've added a, a longer uh, uh, space here so you can see what your defaults are. We've added for you, uh, we have your top image URL, we've added a place where you can actually just click upload image and it'll go right into your um, uh, uh, media library. So you can you can either put up an image or um, or just pick one that already exists. So that'll make life a lot easier before you than than you had in the past, where you had to find out what figure out what the URL was and plug it in. So we, we've done that for you. Um, image height stays the same. Your background color now gives you a color picker if you wanted to put in a different uh, color than your than what you're currently using or whatever. You can customize any way you like, or you can just put in the color number. So we gave you that, and then you would just update your defaults. So the defaults are a little bit easier than they were before, and they're prettier. Any question on this before I move forward to the to the um, to the funnel creation tool? Okay, can you find? I, I think Cindy, we found it, or if not, prettier. yeah, isn't it prettier? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I I yeah, I was look I was looking for prettier. Um, and by the way, there'll be an iBoostify logo in there too, and so on. Uh, but yeah, we we've Matt's done done a nice job with that. He's being shy. He's not saying anything. You can actually jump in, Matt, and like participate. It's it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I got a lot of ambient noise, oh, okay. <laughs> so I muted myself. Okay, no problem. 
All right, well, you're here. Now, now the, the thing that we've, we've been playing with this week, and there's a lot of things that are coming um, and some really cool stuff that's coming, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute, is the funnel tool. And the funnel tool will actually double as, as your tool to create an individual wrap right here on the same page. So you don't even need to go in. You will not even need to go into creating a page in WordPress at all. All you need to do is go in here and create a page right here. Um, so it's we've made it really simple. There are a couple of things that are that are not in this right now. Matt had a couple of couple of issues. So I'm going to walk you through how we actually do a funnel and what a funnel is right now. Um, and there are a couple of extra procedures that we will have, one extra procedure actually that we have to do that you will not have to do, and I'll explain to you why in a sec. So what's a funnel? When you do a wrap, when you do a wrap right now, you you go ahead and you create a page and you insert another page in it. So for example, very simple, here's one we did uh, on one of our webinars for, for David Nolan. Yeah, we do the we do the, the wraps on the fly. So we put David Nolan inside of here. But now if someone doesn't want to buy David Nolan's um, fix your head services, um, and David, um, <laughs> I'm being as, as I'm, I'm teasing a little bit, but you know, that's we fix, fix your head, fix your life. If I don't want this and I want to go, I want, I want to try and sell them something else. Let's say this was an actual, um, you know, product that we're selling and I'm creating a sales funnel. If they don't want to buy this. I'll send them to something else. Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm going to send them with our return button to another, another spot. And if they don't buy product number two or offer number two, I'll send them to offer number three, offer number four, offer number five. Same way I, I suggested to you, and yes, Margaret, we record all these all these events for posterity. So um, we're creating a funnel, and you can you can create the funnel almost as deep as you want. We've we've kind of limited it to ten pages, right, Matt? Do we make it ten? I think it was ten that we we spec it out at, and I, I don't think even we need that. Yeah, I think that, that's ten for now. Yeah, well, I don't think it'll ever need to be longer than that because if people are staying with you that long and they haven't bought something, they're probably never going to buy anything. But we've given you up to 10 pages that you can wrap in sequence. So it goes from one to the other to the other to the other. And again, just like I did on, on the blog post that I, that I made for you a couple weeks ago. But now all you need to do is actually put the pages in just like this and it will create them for you. It'll create them totally for you. So just put in what you're what you're looking to do in order, and and Matt's tool will create all of the pages for you, and it will give you. I'll demo in a second, and it'll give you a list of all the pages. Now, today, it won't. It it does not because Matt's had some trouble with some of the templates. It does not automatically insert the blank page template. So after the pages are created, you have to rem remedially go in and and uh, edit each page and just turn it to a blank page template, and then it's perfect. That will change within the next day. But Matt just had a little bit of an issue, and we're, and we're up against a clock because I, you know, like like any kind of, of marketer, I was like, let's release it. <laughs> so so um, we're, we're about a day off on that. Is that. And I won't release it until that's in there. So it will automatically put the blank page template in um, for you. Well, actually, Matt, you're gonna cho they'll choose the template in here, won't they? Is that how you're going to do it? Um, yeah, that's one of the things I was thinking of, of doing. Either okay. that, or I, we put it in automatically, add our own template. Okay, I, I'm. Well, you and I'll talk about. It. Does anybody have any feeling? Would you Would you want to create your own template, or would you want to um, have the blank page template automatic? And Margaret says it sounds much easier. Yeah, Margaret, we're, th that's why we went from beta. <laughs> so we keep adding new things. Thank you. So, what do you guys think? Should we Should we make it automatic? Margaret says make it automatic. What, um, Gary, what do you think? Sin um, Deepak, what do you think? Option, option, radio button. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's a good idea. Let's do that. I like that. Give people the option. So it, br it branches. Yeah. Okay. Not yes. It. Branch right. No. I like it. Thank you very much. That's a yeah. perfect, perfect. So yes. It's Cindy. Um, so what I'm wondering is, this looks awesome, the the sales funnel creation tool. But do you? To use the tool, do you have to, I mean, can you just do it on one page? Yes. Or do you mm -hmm. have to go two or three or four deep? No, one page, Cindy, one page. Cindy, that's why I suggested the on or off button. Yeah, yeah. You've got no, it's a simple one page wrap. Yes, total setup. And that was, that was one of the things that I wanted to make sure we could do. So right, right now, you don't need to go into create a WordPress page. 
Now you can just do this, right? And and, and then what's going to, and a couple more changes are going to take place. And then at the bottom, it will say create the wrap or create the okay. funnel. Okay. So yeah, you will no longer need to go in to create a regular WordPress page. Now, with that in mind, there's one th something else that, that, that we're missing. And, and that is what's your parent page. If you're creating a parent page for your apps like I do, and like a lot of you guys are doing, you've seen that in the tutorials, Matt does not have this in here. So that will be added as well. So that if you, like, for example, now on the new site on, on um, iBoostify.com, I put them under, under an A. So, if it, so that way it appears at the top when I'm scrolling down manually. Um, as opposed to the W and scrolling all the way down to the bottom. So Ken went, Ken went lazy. Um, Try to be a little bit more, more pragmatic there. But from now on, you don't have to do that. You, you, it, you'll be able to put your parent in, in the creation tool. So it'll all happen on this one screen simple, easy, done, and then it'll create the wrap for you right, right, the, the button will be right below here. In addition, what Matt's done is he's done, he's listed, he's put, put up all the pages right here, you know, all your different wraps, and you would just activate it by just clicking, clicking here to activate that. Um, we're going to remove that. It's going to be another day of, of coding for him, and so it'll just be add another page. It'll be an option to add page, and it'll pop up a new, a new um, screen just like this, and then it'll either be create wrap, because the button says create funnel, sorry, create funnel. It'll, it'll be create funnel or create wraps, um, and uh, it'll be below what you've added. So, so, the, so three things that are being added within the next day, and that is the, the blank page or your template choice, okay? Um, number, that's number one. Number two, an automatic, an automatic add an X so you won't have to scroll down all the way. Um, and, and see all this stuff. There's no, there's no real need to do that. And then last but not least, you'll be able to, um, uh, to put in your um, uh, uh, parent because it's, you know, you should always have a parent. Um, are you going to show us an, of course I'm going to show you an example. I just want to give you the, up, the, the overview, Cynthia, before we went in and we did it. Because when I looked at it, um, you know, without, without understanding the background, it, it would not make a lot of sense. So are you guys ready for me to, to show you an example? Cindy's like, yeah, she can't wait to see this. Okay. So we're going to create, we're going to, we're going to create our funnel right now. Any, by the way, any questions before I start? <clears throat> okay. You're all, you're all waiting impatiently. All right, let's get, let's get going. So I'm going to click, first of all, I'm going to start to use these details to make a wrap page. I, I, I guess we'll just keep this here unless Matt, um, you can remove it, on, remove it on the first one. But there would be no need to put this in, I think, if we if we add a second one. We probably don't need to, but you know what? It, it it's not a bad thing, I guess. So first the first page, we'll just give it the page title. This is test page one. Very, very creative. Um and hey Matt, when we wrap URLs, do they all have to say HTTP? I've always been doing that. And I never I keep forgetting to ask you. Did they, I I've been making them yes. HTTP. Okay. Yes, they do. Okay. Suggestion, Ken. Yep. Put a, put a default HTTP colon backslash backslash www in light gray yep. in the boxes so people know what to put in. Oh, no, are you saying that to put it in automatically and let them just add on top of that or put it in, um, you know? Uh, no, display, display it as the best practice. Okay. In, okay. In, say that one more time. Auto fill it. Okay. In okay. That's what I was. That, put it in as a default, so that okay. can see what they've got to put in. That's what I was going to ask Matt to do. Yeah. So 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 that way it's already there. So what it'll it'll look like this just on the screen without the CNN looking below it, yeah. right? Is that what you think? What you're suggesting? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy for you to do, Matt. Right? Matt. Hello. Yes. I'm okay. actually I'm making notes while we're going on. So okay, good. And, do the and I'm, right away. Okay, yeah, that's good. And, and by the way, that will help me a lot on my demos because I get timed on my demos and having to type those things in. I, I did a wrap on a on a webinar once and I had HTTT, not HTTP. And <laughs> after I clicked show the wrap, it clearly didn't work. So um, it was kind of cool because I could show how fast you can you can correct something. Um, and by the way, if you create the funnel and you, you mess it up and there's a typo in it, you can go back to the ind individual page. The short code is still in that individual page and you can correct it in the short code. So it's all still there and I can show you that too. Okay. All right. So yeah, just use, you're not, 
if you just use HTTP, you will not need www. Cynthia is saying you won't need www. I don't know. Does, do you need? Do you do need? Do you, do you not need www? It's actually the www is optional now. So if you put HTTP colon slash slash, you can put on um, um, the www, or you can just go directly. Really, it I didn't really know that. Matter. I didn't know that. No one gave me the memo. That's cool. So, so that means that I, I've 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 been spending four extra keystrokes in my life. Do you imagine how much time I could save by not having to put that in? Okay, so I'll wrap CNN. The banner link URL is if you're doing a single wrap, this is the return page. I'm going to change banner link URL to something that's more more um, sensible. So it'll be like return URL, um, and this would only be used. This this is be, going to be used for your single wrap on your funnel wrap. Like if you're doing, it, if you go to go down to, to this second wrap down here in your funnel, this will supersede what what is above. Okay, so this will this won't matter so much um, once you get down to the second level. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. The zoom level right now, Matt's got that as an integer. It will be a percentage, just as you're used to seeing. Uh, your top image, um, this top image URL. We don't have a picker for this. Matt, will it be easy? Will it be easy for us to to put a picker in there, or or no? I'm um, I'm working on um, putting multiple pickers uh, using jQuery on uh, on one page. So once once I get that working, there will be pickers there. Okay, good. All right, and the image height, of course, you know what that is. That's the height of your of your header, um, and your background color, and that will have a picker as well. Right now, it's it's we thought we had a picker in, in here. Oh, sorry. Uh, the pick is working now. It, it's working. Yeah. There it is. Okay, excellent. Okay, great. It it it's working. That's great. Okay, so so that's the first wrap. Su suggestion, Ken. Yes, Gary. Image heights show pixels, px, something at the end rather than just a number. Thank you. Great idea. Kind of obvious, isn't it? Okay. That will be implemented very shortly, as a matter of fact. Okay, cool. Thank you. Anybody else have any suggestions while we're on this section right over here? Okay, you can always pop pipe in later. Okay, so that's the first one. Now what will happen is it will be a button here that says add new, add new wrap page. But for now, we're just going to click to activate for the new wrap page. And again, this is this is the sort of not ready for time prime release because I jumped the gun slightly on this. Um, hey, Wolfie. Okay, so let me just unmute you. And actually, you know what, Matt, I'm going to make you an organizer so you can unmute some people too while we go through this. So, and Gary, I'll do the, and Cindy, I'll do the same for you. You're used to, you're used to being an organizer, so you can, if you want, you can kind of help out with some of the, un, some of the unmuting for everybody that's coming in later on here. Um, so there's Susan, Tasha. Uh, okay, great. And I'm going to okay, great. Whoops. All right, so, but I think someone's making some noise in the background. I think that may be Tasha. Let me just mute. No, it's not Tasha. Maybe Wolfgang. Hang on. I'm losing some. Okay, I just muted you, Wolfie. So just add in into the question box. All right, so, um, wait a minute. There is someone making noise. I should have, sorry. If you guys are making noise in the background, do me a favor. Just mute yourself until you're going to be chiming in. I would really appreciate that. Yeah, I know. I know it wasn't you. Um, but yeah, whoever's whoever's Susan, it's you, Susan. I'm going to mute you. Oh, mute, Susan just got muted. Thank you guys for helping me with that. All right. So so the second part of this is to make your second wrap. And so we're going to call this um, test test page two. Gee whiz. I'll call it test wrap two. How's that? Okay. Wrapped URL. Same thing, HTTP. And I wrapped CNN, CNBC earlier. Um, so I'll just do HTTP for its... Uh, Colon forward slash forward slash forward slash. Um, somebody give me a, give me something to wrap. Give me give me a give me a site to wrap. Fine. You don't talk fast enough. I'll put it on myself. I'll wrap CNBC. That's all that's coming to mind. And again, this next this would be your next destination. But again, you won't know what that what that wrapped page is until it's created. So. The, the next one will, will fill in this one over here. So, Matt, this can be left out, right? This Matt, this banner link URL can be left out in this in this intermediate wrap? Um, I, I put that in there. I put that in there so, just, so that just in case there are only going to be, say, for example, two wrap pages. 
then the second page is going to uh, the banner is going to link to whatever URL is on there. Okay. All right. We need to we need to to put in a descriptor on that so that if it's your final if it's your final destination, then that needs to be just it needs to be indicated in there, right? Because okay. otherwise people aren't going to know what what they're doing. So that would that would have to be be indicated. That's the final the final destination there. And if anybody has any suggestions on what language would be appropriate. Feel free and pop in and let me let me know your thoughts. Um, your Zoom level is going to stay the same. Can, yeah. When you're when you are hitting the click box, use these details to make a wrapped page. Yeah. Matt, can you put in this is the end of the an option on it to say this is the last page to be wrapped in the sequence? That's a good idea. Which, which, when you get to the filling in all the information, it automatically. Will take you out. That's a good idea, Matt. Yeah, either possible. at the top or at yeah. the bottom. Yeah, I'm almost thinking that that at the bottom because that way, if, when you when you're done, you're indicating that, or and it could be in both places. Either way, but that's a really good idea. Thank you. Excellent. So the rest of it, I'm just going to leave as defaulted, and we'll go to the last one here. I'm just going to do. I'll just do three. This is test page three, wrapped URL HTTP. I'll just do this. I'll make it Apple. Um, and the, so at the end, yeah, this goes to Seminar Digest at the end, but again, can go to any page that you want. And the reason why we're, we're doing it, we're doing it for you like this is because you can't, if you're doing a, a campaign and you're going to multiple wrap pages, you have to create the wrap before you can use it as a destination. So to do it manually, you have to do it backwards. You plan it forwards, but you execute it backwards to create that final wrapped page if you're sending them back to a wrapped page. If you're sending them back to your site, like to an article or, or a thank you page or a resource page, and I would recommend like a resource page to give people choices, um, that's cool. Um, can you add in a redirect if you're leaving the page? I couldn't get a redirect to work with wrapper. Yes, yeah, Cynthia, we are, we are adding a, um, uh, an exit pop-up, and that's, that's next on Matt's list. Actually, yeah, it's, that's next on Matt's list for the next big project. Um, you should be able to use exit pop-ups automatically, um, or not automatically, but uh, exit pop-ups as as additional plugin within WordPress. And we've tested it, um, and some of them have worked. I'm not sure what what Matt's what Matt's tested, but we're building our own and integrating it because this is a WordPress page. You can use an exit pop-up and an exit. It's both an entrance and an exit pop-up, but we want to have an integrated pop-up so it's all in one place. Okay. So anyway. I've put all this in. I'm, going to, I'm just going to do three. And normally what, well, not normally, this is not there yet, but what will happen is there'll be a create wrap button here. Instead, I'll scroll down to the bottom for right now. And again, I'm demonstrating this to you right now. You won't see all of this unless you filled it all in. Okay, I'm not going to let you have it this way because um, it's only another day. Uh, so if that was the only thing I needed to fix, I would let you have it. But there are a couple other things I want to add to make life easy. So I'll hit create funnel. And by the way, I'll create a full um, tutorial for you, full video for you. Okay. So hang on, let me create, hit the create funnel button, but I did. There it is. Create funnel. It's now working and it's still working. And there it is. So now the funnel is created and there are your pages listed right at the top. So now your pages are created. Now, as I said, if I was to go ahead and, and actually open up one of the pages, um, it is not going to appear properly be, today, right this minute, because it's not putting in the blank page template. So if I go ahead and I click on, on and I'm going to do, I'm going to do a command click here just to get the next page open. And that we, I probably, for people to look at the pages, we need to have, and we're creating like an, an index page or something, so all your wraps can be in one place. Uh, but and again, this also doesn't have where this is right now, it doesn't have the short code, not short code, doesn't have the parent in here either. But the page is now, test page one is here, and as you can see, it's it's not right. I'll go in, I'm gonna edit the page, put the blank template in, and it'll, and it'll be just great. And by the way, the header mat on this wrap, on this page, is not our, our wrap page header. Yeah, it's, it's the default one. Yeah, well, the default no, one, um, yeah, uh, upon reinstallation, I yeah. think it wasn't reconfigured properly. Uh, I can see that. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So and so here it is. 
that now I've got the blank page. You'll see, by the way, the short code is in here. So if if you need to make an edit, you can go ahead and make your edit right in here. And by the way, your your and you want to do it manually over again. Your uh, your your old brand wrapper icon is still here. It, well, it's going to be changed from brand wrapper, as you can see, it still says brand wrapper. So Matt, you need to you need to make make sure that that changes, but it's still here, uh, the way you guys have seen it from the very beginning. So you can still get in and create one manually on the fly right here, and you can get in and you can edit your your short code to put in the correct header. Okay, so you still you still have the same flexibility you had before. And for anybody that likes to play with code, great. Um, there was there was a warning that we put in that said, "Don't touch this unless you know what you're doing." It appears to be to be gone. I still want to put that in that. I still want to put that that little warning message we had that says, "Touch this code," and you know, uh, don't okay. blame don't blame <laughs> me. If it, don't blame me if it doesn't work anymore. Okay, because uh, I want to make sure we had it. It looked it, put, it, it just added another extra couple of lines to it, and it looks scary. But um, it, at the very least, now we've made it easier on the front end. So. So there we go. Now it's now it's being saved, and um, we'll go ahead and we'll view the page and just, we'll view the page right now. Okay. So now, other than the fact that the wrong header is in for whatever reason, oh no, it is right. It is right. Get a load of that. I wonder how that. I wonder why that is. But the blank header made it work. So CNN got wrapped, and now what we're going to do if I hit the return home, it should take us to test page two. And we're waiting for it to load. And there it is. There's wrap page two. Again, it's it's um, it's needs to be. Yeah, you know why, Matt? It got wrapped right in here. So let me go ahead and let's edit. We're just going to edit the page. So real quickly, all I got to just go in and it just got covered actually. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It got covered. Okay. So default template becomes a blank page, and I update. So for right now, it's just an extra step. Um, but it created everything for you on the fly, so it say it will save you a bunch. Of, it'll save you a bunch of time, and tomorrow uh, or the day after, it will um, it will be automatic. So you won't have to do any of that. They'll all be they'll all be there, ready to go and done, and your uh, your codes will already be made. So so that's um, let's go view the page, and I just and just go through it right now. I'm just going to go through and I'm I'm going to correct them, but there and there's our there's our our wrap CNN, and then. On the return home, uh, we're going to give you the next option, which is going to be wrap page three. There it is, right there. And again, the uh, uh, the edit just needs to be made real fast. So that's that's the um, the campaign builder. Let me just go ahead and fix this one because I hate things that are in, that are incomplete. Blank page. Can I have a couple of questions? Go right ahead. Um, it's Cindy. Uh, so where your little button says return home yes i can understand return home um you know my brain says return home takes me back to the page i came from right so if you're going to do a wrap and take them to a different page wouldn't you want that button to say something else yes i agree we, we've we've changed our our um our, our header to say return to site so uh, so that's you know because like we could do it we could test and I'll let you guys jump in what do you think would you want to say return to site would you want what would you want to want to say next page um, what would you what would you guys think that you should put up on, on there split test say again split test. yeah there you go test see what you like we're doing we're, right now we're like I said we're doing return to site um, mm -hmm. so let's see where are we here return Absolutely. The word return. return yeah. would be acceptable best practice. Yeah, return. That's that's actually probably perfect, and they can and they can add whatever they want to in their mind. That's a good idea. What do you guys think? Well, I just you know, I'm, I'm what I'm thinking is if if you have people that are coming to your site all the time because they like your content, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you're wrapping all of your pages, they're going to get used to seeing this. Yes. App, right. Yeah. Right. And so to me, mm -hmm. if, if I've been doing it one way, like returning them back to the page they came from and all of a sudden I'm shifting them onto a funnel, it mm -hmm. seems like I would have the, uh, it would be my obligation to let them know that 
they're not going to be returned home when they click that return button. They're going someplace else. Good That's point. That's what I was thinking. That's a good point. And, and you know, that, that brings us to the next, kind of the, to the next subject, and that is your purpose. Because there's, there are a couple different purposes for this. If you're building a funnel, then this is a, this is a sales funnel, obviously. So, and some people will never use it for content. And certainly as we move forward with, with our, with some of the new folks that are joining us, a lot of people that are here in, uh, in, in our mastermind and, and as our initial beta testers are real big on content. I'm, I'm going to want all of you to be building your content because that's going to help, help you for the long term getting and maintaining engagement with, with customers and clients. A lot of people that are affiliate marketers aren't doing that, and they're and they just want to have a sales funnel and make money and and end a story. The long term money comes from actually having content, like Cindy's talking about, and like a lot of you saw when I demoed um, Linda Feinholz's page, for example, um, which is Breakthrough by Design, where she's got all this content, and and uh, they're going to get used to it and come back to it. So, like if you're wrapping TED, return to site and returning back to this exact same page would absolutely be best practice. So you make a really good point, Cindy. Uh, Wolfie says returns not correct is they're not being taken back. Yeah, so we got to think about what's going to be most appropriate. And you know, I don't know that we have the have the ability to have two hot buttons to go return to the same page or return to site, you know, to the home page or or go to the next offer. Um, so there's there's a, it's a really good question. What do you what do you, what are your thoughts? Well. I was thinking that we could do it ourselves, right? I mean, just as we created the header that would say return home or return, uh -huh. you could create another header that would say um, check out more offers, look at this, you know, I'm not those aren't the words, but something right. that yeah. lets them think that they're going on. And then when you're doing your second wrap, mm -hmm. you could just put that header in, couldn't you? Yeah, why not? You well, that's that's why we different headers. That's why we created the ability for you to customize all of your all of your headers and have a, a, a different top image URL. So that's a really, really good idea is to use a different header, a, a different header, header instruction for your, mm -hmm. your, um, uh, for your content pages, wrap pages versus your, your um, campaign pages. And what I would be interested in hearing is what all of you are, are doing. And, uh, and we, we haven't set up the, the Google plus group yet. So that's got to be set up over the next few days. Um, but I want to hear what, what you guys are doing and, and see how it goes so that in between our calls, uh, we, can, we can stay in touch with each other and pass on some of the feedback. But that's a really, really good idea, Cindy. I like, I like the way you're thinking. Let's, let's look at a different header for your funnels versus your regular content. Keep your same graphics so your branding stays the same, um, but at least, at least change your instructions. I think I think that's really and so smart. my second question my second question is on um, the uh, oh oh when you're using this uh, the sales <laughs> I just lost it for a second. Sorry. I saw that I, I got it it's okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> Um, when you're using the, the sales funnel creation tool, and I will, until I get better at it, I will mostly just be using it to do one page at a time, right? Sure, sure. So when you say okay at the bottom, what does that do in WordPress? So does it actually, does it put it into um, um, draft mode, or does it actually publish it? Because it when I was doing it inside WordPress, I would... Uh, put it in draft mode first, then I would view it to make sure that the links worked, and then I would come back and publish it. So I'm wondering how fast the publish thing is going to go. It published um, because we went straight to the page, right? So it so Matt didn't make it draft. He, Matt published it. Okay. And so then if there's an error on it, then it's already out there, but you just go in and fix it. Yeah, I mean, but you're talking about, you're doing it now, so you're going to go, I mean, I would assume that you're going to check check your work immediately anyway. I would, just to test it. And mm -hmm. all you, you got to do is, is control, click, and there's your test. Just the same way we, we did the corrections here, was I just uh, you control, clicked, open up the next page, left this open, not that it matters because the page is already created, and then went in, um, saw, the, um, saw the page, let's see, I boosted a fire one. Um, saw the page, and um, and then you can go back into this. This is the page here. Now your edit, you don't have the edit stuff on the top of this one um, for test page three. So you'd have to just go back into your control panel and pull the page and edit the page. 
Uh, Ken? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, actually, every, all that we're adding, all that we're adding is uh, the, the short code. There's no other piece of content. So other than the link uh, on, the, on the header image, um, everything else is coming from the third-party site that's being wrapped. Right. So that, that, I guess, makes the margin for error really, really low. Well, yeah, but the, but let's talk about errors that I've made, just because, you know, I'm, I'm the king of errors. Hmm? Yeah, well, you know, we, we're human. We're going to make mistakes. So, for right. example, so, so you know, Wolfie's saying test your links before you put them in. That's fine. But, you know, if you're doing it on the fly, if you're in the middle of doing something and your kid comes yeah. in and distracts you or whatever, you're going to screw it up. I mean, it, it, there's... You know, or okay. if you or if you copy the wrong link or someone, whatever, you're going to make mistakes. We do. I mean, uh -huh. so so, so uh, would we like to put in an option as to whether we want it um, as a draft or as published? You know what? It, Upon it's creation, not, it's not a bad idea. Why don't you say publish as draft or publish as um, as as publish? Okay. Cool. If it's an, if it's, it. an, if it's an option, let's give people the option. It's I, I mean, knowing me, I'll just I'll just. Do them as publish, and I'll go back and clean them up. But Cindy raises a great point. Why not give us that option? So cool. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks. How would you test that, Ken? Before, like, okay, when when you're on there, how would you test it before it was published? Um, so maybe I just don't understand that. I, I think well, you'd have to go into the individual page. No, now let's let me ask you this, Matt. Matt, if we if we do that, then are they are they're still going to see they're still going to see this, right? So, so getting into that page. Oh yeah, except except it's going to be yeah. It won't be a published page. Yeah. It won't be a published page. So if if Cindy wants to get in or anybody wants to get in to uh, to edit that page and you know and do the preview of it because as they would normally do, they're going to have to go into uh, into the pages area. Where's pages? Correct. And then look at all pages. Yeah. Let me uh, let me test it out and study that. Okay. Uh, even if uh, WordPress, uh, well, just let me let me get in and study that. There might be some workarounds to. Uh, well, whatever, I'll give you know? I'll give you I'll give, maybe some of you don't don't realize this, and Cynthia, I'll I'll get to your your comment in a second. But if we have to do that, the the short way that I found to get to the new pages is I'm just going to do a command click here to get here. Is if I go to my list of pages. You can go ahead and you can pull it. Just hit, hit the date button on the top, just like I'm doing here, and it will list your pages in date order of creation. So here's wrap page one, page two, page three, all here. So you can go in and you can edit this way. They, they're all right in front of you just by doing it by date. So if you haven't done, if you haven't never used that before, that's been my secret way of figuring out where stuff is. So that would be an easy way for you to find that. Okay. Um, now. Uh, one of the comments, uh, Cynthia is saying it's that changing the, the, the banners, uh, your headers, can be a challenge where people don't know how to make subtle changes. Um, the answer is solved with $5, Cynthia, and that would be that if you don't know how to go ahead and make the change yourself, go to Fiverr.com, and we, we're going to have a team, by the way, that will, that, that will help you with that. Um, I'll tell you, I guess I should tell everybody about that right now, too. Um, but Fiverr, anybody on Fiverr can simply to make that graphical change for you like, you know, in hours. Uh, now, what we're doing, and um, this came out of a partnership that, that I'm doing with, with my friend Jim Graham um, and, and with some help with Matt and his wife, what you don't know about Matt, many things you don't know about Matt, on his weekends, uh, Matt and his wife run a, well, actually, Matt, why don't you describe what it is? Because I'm, I'm going to say it wrong. So why don't you tell, tell me, tell everybody what, um, what, what it's all about. Is that what you're going to yeah, okay. Well, it, it all started as um, my wife and I um, volunteering at the local youth center, teaching people how to do um, technology work. And uh, it has then grown into a citywide thing now that, uh, that we're doing, um, especially with uh, people with disabilities. And um, we have recently... Um, well, when I when I presented out all of these things to to Ken, um, he thought of doing a uh, social corporate responsibility thing and farm out um, well, you know, outsource work to um, the people that we've trained. 
Cool. So, so this we're, this is going to start as soon as Matt says we're ready. But instead of going to Fiverr for five dollars to get a header um, edited or whatever, you can come to us or come, go actually to, to Matt's uh, Matt's group in the Philippines, and for the same five dollars they'll do it. And we've got disabled kids, and we've got kids that are that are still in learning process. And uh, this is this is a really really cool thing that they're doing, and we're looking to expand that. So uh, it'll be more than more than than you know, creating, we'll be, we'll be creating WordPress sites for people, all sorts of different things. And um, so pretty soon it'll be like, it'll be like, be like a bring it on based on what the menu of, of services that they can offer is. But rather than going, for example, to Fiverr, uh, it'll, it'll be going to, uh, to, um, to Matt's and, and his wife Kay's center. Um, the, they're having a, a, an announcement of the whole integration um, on the 15th, is it Matt? I know it was moved from, from, from yesterday. Uh, but uh, yeah, actually, it's, it's going to be on the 13th. 13th. Um, it's it's going to be a uh, yeah on the 13th. Yeah. So so anyway, so it'll be available for you. Um, so anyway, so you can go ahead and you can get that work either done at Fiverr or again when we have the availability to offer it to you, we'll do it too, and it'll be fee based and it'll be sent to to those guys. We will have nothing to do with it economically. Uh, if we need to, if we need to handle handle and get the money parts sorted out for you guys, Matt, we'll do that. Obviously, it'll be a pass through. But this is not any economic uh, consideration to us. This is really to help and support your guys. Okay, um, Jennifer, as soon as Matt's ready, you know, as soon as Matt is ready to to do it, Matt, when do you think you guys can actually start taking orders? Actually, um, we'll be ready by next week. Okay. Um, they're the, the the peeps are they're getting um, they're actually graduating uh, already, so um, yeah I'll, I'll give that announcement. But uh, I'm pretty confident this as soon as uh, next week, say around Monday, uh, okay. they'll be ready to go. So figure an extra week, guys, because I've I've learned I've learned like <laughs> to make sure you have a little bit of extra time. But we'll get we'll give you the update on that, and we'll build a page and you know and so on, so that you guys will have a menu of what you can you can do. In the meantime, until then. Go to Fiverr, and um, there was a question here. I want to make sure I get all your questions for those of you that are typing questions in. Um, uh, your banner, you is not going to change. Um, uh, Susan has a question on that. Yeah, hang on. So I just want to get the questions that I've got real quickly here. Um, okay, when you go to Fiverr and you want a transparent header to use to wrap a sales page, precisely what do you ask? What you, you when you say when you say Susan you want a transparent header, um, are you wanting to just put a new button on your existing header? Is that what you're looking for, or or are you do you have a site that has a big background and you want your header to be transparent on top of that? I just want to be sure what you what you're what you're asking, okay? Um, and Ken, I'll let you pop a in. Suggestion for people who yeah. are not proficient with Fiverr. Yeah. Perhaps going to Fiverr and looking at the gigs offered, not the people wanting to do the work, but the people wanting work done for them, may give you an idea as to how to phrase requirements. That's good. Yes. So, I mean, and Fiverr, by the way, has changed a bunch over uh, over the past I don't know, six months or so. The, the site looks completely different. But go and explore. You know, go and explore. Um, that would be, that's, because it'll make life easier for you. But you're not, no, no, right now, none of you are asking, as you build a header, you're not asking for anything that is um, uh, terribly unique. You know, you're asking for easy stuff, at least at this point. Um, if you want to do a transparent header, uh, you know, Cynthia's adding it's a PNG. We know that it's a PNG file. Um, you can do what you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's the cool thing. And if you're not sure, the person that helped design your site can also answer your question. And again, if you're not sure, just ask us because you know Matt and Matt and Mark, who who, who man most of the uh, the support, um, are happy. They love answering your questions. So, and, and if there's a question they they can't ask, they end up coming to me. And then if I don't know, we, we, I just talk to God, <laughs> and we figure it out. Okay. Um, whoever's making noise in the background, do me a favor. And maybe that's Matt, actually. I'm not sure. There's just some background noise. No, nope. still, I can't tell who it is. But if you got noise going on in the background, could you mute yourself? Thank you. 
Okay, Cynthia, you had, Cynthia, you had a question, and I and I, I put you on hold there for a second. You had another question, I thought, Cindy. Cindy. Okay, uh, Susan. Yeah, did, 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 didn't didn't you say that? Yeah, yeah, that you're the one. Um, did you say he had another question? I had two questions. Yeah, the, the second one was about the. Uh, the first one was about the, the button in the back, and then the other one was about. You know, I asked. I asked both of them. The other one was about uh, the publishing, right away. Oh, okay. That was a really, it was a really good question. Then so someone else, someone else had a question, and I and I was just finishing up my list of questions in the question box. So if that was, I thought it was you. There was someone else had a question that that I didn't answer, or that you you were waiting on. I want to make sure I get everybody sorted out here. No. Okay. Well, then let me yeah, tell you I what. I think all of the questions were. Okay. Well, I've got more. For, I've got more for you guys, because um, there's more. There's more coming. This, this, hopefully, depending on what Matt tells me, what Matt tells me will be included in the update. Um, uh, in the update that's coming out of the next day or so. And Tasha, yeah, I know you had difficulty installing. I saw. I saw your um, your support ticket actually. So um, have you have you been all sorted out? I think we saw a a. I think I think we knew you were okay. Um, yeah, we're getting Cindy and Cynthia mixed up. Yeah, it's a good thing there is a difference. Okay. Uh, anyway, so what we're adding is this: How many of you recognize? How many of you have, have ever seen a? Um, uh, you've clicked on a link somewhere, and then the next thing you know, for the next like couple of weeks, wherever you go online, there's an advertisement for the item that you had looked at. You know, like yesterday, or if you look at something today, you clicked on it, and then the next thing you know, you're seeing ads for the same thing all over the web for the next few weeks. You guys have you guys ever experienced that? Okay, well, I know you have cuz it's cuz that's been pretty kind of kind of um uh kind of consistent. I'll tell you I'll tell you for example I I clicked on premium web cart for example the other day and wherever I've been searching for the following week all I saw were premium web cart ads. Um I've seen it with with a, Jane says they follow they follow her everywhere. Yeah. That's called retargeting. And it's one of the coolest ways to advertise and to market out there. And it's it's perfect. It's so well targeted because it, they, those ads only go to people that have been to your website. Or, by the way, you can retarget in Facebook for people that have opened up or clicked through your emails. I learned that one yesterday. So what we decided to do was give you that, ex, that same exact capability within SiteWrap. Within SiteWrap. Um, and, and by the way, um, um, Matt, where it says Site Wrapper Sales Funnel Creation Tool, it's Site Wrap, <laughs> not Site Wrapper. <laughs> You're used to Brand Wrapper, so we need to correct yeah, that. By the way, right. we, need correct, we need to correct. We need to correct <laughs> that. I, I I didn't catch it till just now. Anyway, so what we're going to do is this. R right now, all of you had the capability of adding a retargeting pixel and retargeting cookie creator thing um, into your WordPress sites. And you would do that in your normal setup. And in some in some cases with some of your themes, you there's a space where you can put one on for each individual page. And you would want to have a different one for each page if different pages on your site promoted different products or services. Because obviously if someone's, for example, with us, iBoostify.com, which will make its debut sometime during this week, it's not ready yet, um, but iBoostify.com will... will um, We'll have have different products on it. So we have our Boostifier software suite, which is being released uh, in January. We have Site Wrapper, and we have other products and services. If I want to retarget uh, Site Wrap, and I want to retarget our new um, FB um, Ad Booster, which is a, a twenty one part training on on how to use Facebook ads, for example, I would be using a different retargeting cookie for each of those different products, right? So that way, if someone clicks on one on that one page, I'll be retargeting that product. So therefore, you would want to have a different, um, a different retargeting code on each of your pages. Does that make sense? Before I go any further, am I making sense, or am, or am, I, am I getting confusing? Well, I don't have anybody. No one's telling me that I'm, I'm, I'm off my lid yet. So, to, yeah. Does all of the does every every theme have that um, ability for retargeting? Um, does every theme have that capability? You know what? Since I am not an expert on all themes out there. I'm not going to say that. However, uh, for example, we're using we're using 
um, my instant thing for business. I don't know whether or not there is a separate page. And if Gina was on with us right now, she could tell us. I don't know if there's an ability to do it in every separate page. Uh, if if not, then you would have to go into your CSS and make and make a make an addition uh, individually. However, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, uh, and Marco says yes to that. What we're going to do is we're going to add it right here in the funnel creation tool. So there'll be an there'll be an extra two. Um, uh, two fields that you can populate that will be, if you want to do retargeting, we'll figure out the language. If you want to re do retargeting, your Google code goes here, your Facebook code goes here. And uh, there are like three different companies that do Facebook retargeting. We're going to give you the ability just to do one. and It'll probably be perfect audience, which is the one that, that we've been recommended to use and the, the one that, that we're using now. So it will automatically populate that for you, no matter what theme you use. So it, you don't need to be concerned with it in the future. We're going to add it here so it will do retargeting for you. Well, let me rephrase that. It doesn't do the retargeting. It places the retargeting coding on it so it will cookie your visitors. Then inside of, of Google, inside of, inside of your, 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 Google, your Google account, uh, in your, your, um, uh, your Google, Ad Google advertising account, you'll then set up a retargeting campaign. Now, just a little hint, because I'm not wanting to teach retargeting right now. Uh, what you, you want to turn this on as soon as possible. And even if you're not going to do retargeting, you want to turn it on. And the reason why I say that is because what happens is when people click on your website, they get cookied and they get added to a list inside of that Facebook retargeting or Google retargeting. And what happens is that database that's created of your visitors, that's who gets those ads. So if you started it today, your visitors from today on would see those ads. But if you started it, to, if, if you started the cookieing today and you turned your ads on next month, the database would have, would be able to, to retarget all the people that visited you over the past month. Does that make sense? So the sooner you do it, the better you are. Now you get to choose how long you want your retargeting campaign to go on. You want to retarget them just for a week after they visit or whatever. That's all up to you. Um, and the cool thing is that even if they bought your product, the retargeting won't hurt you because they're only going to click on it if they bought, I mean, if they, if they didn't buy. And yes, you can turn off the retargeting for someone that's bought. How to do that right now, that's an advanced feature. I don't know how to do it. But you can get as fancy, as fancy as you want. The important part to know is that you really do have the ability to continue the marketing of somebody after they've hit your site. If they leave your site for whatever reason, they're not interested or um, they don't have time to go through it or they're at work and their boss comes up and catches them or, you know, or the kids or, you know, whatever. The fact that you've cookied them and you're retargeting them gives you a great ability to continue to put your message in front of them. And the general, the general theme of marketing is the more messages or the more impressions you can get in front of, in front of someone's eyes, the more familiar they are, the more familiar they are with you, the more likely there is for sale. So that's what we decided to, to, um, um, to do that for you guys. And it's easy for us to do because all we're doing is just giving the ability to do the input right here in front of you. And I think the other part about it is that because we're putting it right in front of your face, <laughs> um, it, it presents you with the idea of, gee whiz, I should be marketing. <laughs> um, and by the way, if you're, not, if you're not running a sales site, if you're not doing a lot of product sales. And by the way, if you're not doing, you're not selling stuff, then how are you monetizing? So that's kind of, kind of redundant, but um, this will encourage you to think about your monetization. It may be, for example, for us, it may be an invitation to our new podcast. It may be an invitation to a free webinar as opposed to an individual product, uh, a product ad. The choice is up to you, but at least it, what it'll do, even if you don't use it, it will present to you every time you do a, a wrapped page, It'll present to you an option of to think about how am I advertising today? How am I marketing today? And I think that's going to be really good for your long-term future. Cynthia says, I love that. We'll have to work as hard as hard later. Um, so we wanted to add that piece. What do you guys think? Deepak says, I love the retargeting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Deepak says, I like the retargeting because most people don't have to see the same offer five to seven times before they buy. Don't know where I've heard. Yeah, I've heard that for years. Wolfie says that sounds great. Yeah, um, I, it just occurred to me like, duh, it's so easy for us to implement for you 
that we can have that created. And, and I wanted to create it created now, but again, we have a few more things that Matt needs to add. So that'll be that'll be in there. So every wrapped page that you make using this creation tool will um, will have the ability to to add that. Um, Jane says, I want to follow my friends too. Yeah. So um, that's those are the big things that we've added right now, um, right off the top. Um, there's there's more that we have planned, and I've just gone blank as to what else we have planned. I I know we're going to do the um, the pop ups for you guys, and that's absolutely coming. It just takes a little bit longer for us to to get that program. Um, so the ads would come up still need to be made inside Google AdWords and Facebook. That's correct. Yeah, Wolfie, what we're doing is we're just all we're doing here is giving you the ability to pop in the the code. And once that's done, you still got to create your ad. You still got to go into Facebook and go, go into AdWords and set up your campaigns. You definitely have to do all that. Now, we will, we will again, create a tutorial on that. We will have a video on that. And there'll probably be some sort of a bonus thing on, you know, on how to do retargeting uh, just so that we don't just give you the, the keys and then you don't know what kind of car to run. So there'll be some sort of retargeting content that by, you know, by virtue of, of the fact that you should know it, we'll, we'll give you some of that. And we'll probably do more of it in our next session. Um, so, and, yes, sir. Thought running through my mind at the moment on retargeting is to acquire hmm. the information from, say, Google, whoever yeah. you're going with, so that information can be provided to the wrappers. Mm -hmm as FAQ information so they understand how strategically to place these retrackers. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you what, I think what we'll do, Gary, and that's a really good point, I think what we're going to do is certainly we'll use some of the links that they've got for, you know, for the how-to stuff. I think what we want to do when we talk about strategy, however, is to actually do a session with everybody and actually talk about the strategies, because what Google strategy may be <laughs> benefits who, <laughs> as opposed, right? As opposed to what we really want to do in terms of using retargeting. So I, I think what I want to do is actually do a session with you guys that will record and, and make it part of our content that actually talks about the strategy of retargeting. Does that make sense? I mean, I, 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 I would, yeah. The how-to part, it's already done. I mean, let's face it, Google and 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 uh, perfect audience already have it. So we'll we'll give you the links to that so you don't have to go search for it. But in terms of the actual why you want to retarget, how you want to retarget, what are your strategies, how long do you want the retargeting to go on for, blah, 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 blah. Um, we I want to do that with you guys from our standpoint. And uh, and if I can find somebody who is a retargeting expert, I want to bring them on as a guest to, to have that for you guys. Okay. Uh, Cynthia says, I love illumination through education. When, not if. Right. Thank you. I, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> That's absolutely right. So we're going to, whether we do that in the next two weeks or whether we do that in a subsequent one, I, I can't give you the date yet, but we're going to get that set up for you for sure. Because uh, I think this is one of the most exciting things that we're adding to this to really make this a full-fledged marketing tool. Not you know, and that's why I wanted us to remove the any kind of mention of WP. This is not just a plugin now. This is really a a fundamental marketing system that will help you build your site. And again, if you're just doing blog content, this will get people to keep coming back. You know, they won't they won't forget you. And I want people to have that level of engagement with you that continues the relationship. Uh, I mean, um, I, I don't. Let me ask you guys because we haven't we we've been talking about what we've been creating, but I want to get some of your feedback. What has been your experience so far with with your stats? If you've been looking at your stats, what's been your experience so far with the software um, in terms of how your engagement, how your profitability, what kind of results have you been seeing? For those of you that have been with us for a while, uh, where are you with all that? Jim, can I ask one question before you go on? Sure. Uh, about the um, about the uh... Um, the thing that you're just talking about, the targeting thing. Yeah, retargeting. Yeah. So my, yeah. So my question is, once you get that on there, does that only apply to the new things you create? Is there any way to go back and get it on our old ones? On your on your old wraps. Yeah. That's a very good question, Matt. Because I've wrapped some really good sites that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to have. Them. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, um, well there, there is, there is. I mean, the question is, is how to do it easily. 
And mm-hmm. uh, Matt, well, you, you want to address that? Yeah, I am looking at um, a solution which is more or less linked to uh, a page template. So um, if we go through with that with that um, stream in terms mm-hmm. of uh, writing a solution for you, then it's going to entail you um, making use of a our provided for blank page template, and then it's going to work properly, uh, even for 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 pages that were created um, previous to the rollout of the feature. Hey Matt, there's something that we got to think about because Cindy, Cindy raised a really important question. If for example, I'm on the fly. I'm, re- I'm creating a a wrap real quick right now. I want to populate it right this minute. Um, it asked me for the for the uh, for the for the um, uh, retargeting, the, the, the retar- retargeting code. I don't have it. I don't. I I forgot my my password into AdWords or into Perfect Audience, or whatever. I don't have it now. I want to add it later. It's the same question that Cindy raised. How do I add it later? So we have to ha- give people yeah. the ability to add it later, and that that yes. takes care of Cindy's Cindy's question. So. Let's right. we Cindy. We'll we'll have a solution for you. Thank you for raising that. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, it would have come up sooner or later, right? So I'm glad it came up sooner. Um, so any by the, any any other questions, suggestions on this feature? Because I do want to hear how you guys are doing. And again, um, uh, and and what other things you want? Any challenges? I want I want to get all this because we're we're what I said in my last level of marketing was this is going to be technically the last official beta meeting that we have, but realistically, nothing is going to change. We're going to give you as much content and as much mindset and as much, you know, and everything as we can each, each, um, each program that we do each session that we do, which we'll do twice a month now. Um, but as we grow this, um, and as we make this, uh, as we start opening this up to the general, the general um, population, um, we're still going to be building it, still going to be develop it, developing it, still asking for your feedback, of course, forever because this is this is going to continue to grow i mean and and the new products that get created out of it um we're going to continue continue to use this and as it grows and as we you know as the 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 tool creation part of it like adding new features like this starts to slow down because we've filled it up um, we'll be we'll be going into any any other kind of strategy like for example we'll spend more time on retargeting strategy we'll spend more time on some of the some of the ideas of the best way to use your header uh, and getting and getting more specific to to fine tuning your your marketing, and my intention for every one of these sessions is to turn them into to learning sessions where we can learn how to optimize the use of not just this tool but any other tool any other tool that's out there. Frankly, I don't care. Um, you know, preferably the ones, of course, that that we're involved in. But I want to use this time for everybody to to really be valuable and as a as a true mastermind. So, um, you know, again, again, the foundation is basing it on on what this tool is so that people have questions, they have concerns, they have whatever. We're here to help. So that's just my my view on where we're headed. So that said, I want to hear how you guys are doing. Any comments, questions, uh, suggestions, things you love, things you don't, uh, uh, results that you've experienced. Don't everybody go first. Ken, Cindy. Hi. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> no problem. A couple things is um, I, I remember thinking about this last time we got off the call. Did you show or is there uh, a, a video on how to check your stats, where to find those stats? Because I, with the new changes in Google Analytics, I can't find my stats where my wrapped pages are unless nobody's looking at them. And I don't think that that's it. Yeah, what, I think what, I just don't know where to go because I'm not very experienced. That is a very, very good question, and it's it, and I'm turning that into a very, very good suggestion. We're going to have to create that. We've not done that. We've not done a how do you find your results? And and what I talked to Matt about a long time ago was how can we throw stats inside of your WordPress installation so that you can see your stats on that. And that's going to take a little while for us to do, obviously, but. My intention, long term, by the way, is to create a software solution that becomes a daily dashboard for us because I want this for me. Uh, and this, this is going to take a while for the program, so I'm just going to give you a future pace. This could be six months down the line. But what I want is a, uh, the ability to see what my, what, my, what my views are yesterday, today, 
what my sales are, what my opt-ins are, I mean, every major uh, KPI, every key performance indicator on my screen. So it may be a couple of different screens, but I'm talking about with, um, you know, with, with bars and charts and graphs because I'm a visual person. So if you give me the number by itself, it's not as meaningful as seeing like a bar graph where it goes up, <laughs> you know, in a graphical element. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to add uh, uh, some some tutorial on on how to find the your results. And uh, I'll probably work with Gina on that because, uh, and for those of you that don't know Gina, uh, Gina Gaudio Graves is actually the, the inspirer of this of this software. She had no idea, I think, what she created <laughs> when she said, Ken, could you help me do this? Uh, and we created this this uh, this really cool tool. So um, I'll, I'll look and see if she wants to, to help us put together a, a video that, that teaches everybody. And we may just do it in, in another session too. So, so thanks for that. Yeah. The, my other thing is, is it's almost like a takeaway, but not really. You're, you haven't asked for takeaways yet. But, you can, you can um, pop in. You can pop in with that. That's okay. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just so excited about this new creation for the funnel and being able to do it without all the steps. It's like, you know, when I, when I um, have an article, usually I have three to five, you know, um, sites that I'm going to wrap. And mm -hmm. it just seemed like it was taking me forever because I've already done the creation and done the MIV and done all this other stuff. And then, oh, oops, now i got to wrap my, my things before I publish it or, you know, right after. So this is just a huge, huge time saver for me because I'm not very fast at this. But I just love the idea of being able just to come in here and do it without having to keep flipping back and checking and, you know, scrolling down trying to find my other sites and and everything like that i really appreciate it you guys have gone above and beyond as usual <laughs> thank you well you know I, I use it too right so so you know ha it, it, creating it for you know for use and, and being part of the process is important um there there will be more coming of course and your feedback is really important so as you find where things are frustrating for you, please let us know. And some of you may have already done that because Matt actually gets the feedback on that. Um, I wanted to go. I wanted to go straight to him um, so that, he, as a programmer, he could actually see it rather than than cluttering up my space. I want to, especially if you're having any any challenges. I don't want to see the challenges. I want to see the opportunities and look to what we can add to it. Let him let him fix the problems because. He wrote the software. He created them. <laughs> so let, let them fix it and, and see where, where the stumbling blocks are. So um, uh, by, the, by the way, Cynthia, Cynthia says the Cindy's are resonating. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so, oh, yeah. so other, and for those of you guys that are new to us, if this is, this is your first, first time with us, uh, welcome to, to the party. Um, your, your input, if you haven't started using the, the software yet, um, start using the software. Start using the software, and if you have questions, ask us. You know, um, this is really important for those of you that came in under beta two, which is most of you. Um, there are only there are a few people that over the weekend joined us as part of a uh, our Thanksgiving. I had to do a super sale, <laughs> so we did a, we did a, a Thanksgiving a Thanksgiving sale. Um, join join the crew. You'll be seeing some. As I said, you're seeing some new things now that'll be released over the next few days. Uh, but this is this is an inclusive relationship that you just became part of. This is a long-term, uh, long-term thing where we really want to help you build your business. And um, people like Cindy and Cynthia uh, and Jennifer and Gary, we're all here working together. And I'm forgetting some of your names right now. Not forgetting, but I'm 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 not going down the whole long list. But this is this really is a community. So I you know I want to um, I want to thank you guys, all of you guys, uh, for being with us. And Wolfie, same thing, and and Susan, and you know all of you guys. Um, so what, how have you, how have you guys been using it and what, what kind of feedback do you have for us? You guys truly can jump in and Wolfie, I'll unmute you too, because you said you weren't making any noise back there. So your feedback's really, really important to us. So. Hello. Why is everybody, well, everybody being so, so shy? Yeah. Hey Wolfie. Yeah, um, basically, um, I can't give you any answers as to how well it's working because I can't separate it out in my Google. Uh, so I'm not sure if those pages are doing the additional uh, income as okay. far as traffic goes or in retention. So that's where I'm stuck a bit at the moment for you. Oh, okay, when we were looking at analytics, and I haven't been on analytics um, 
in, in a few days. Uh, what we looked at, like for, for example, with Alien Bounty site, we saw the individual individual pages uh, that were listed. Are you are you guys not seeing your wrapped pages listed inside of analytics? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay, we need to take a look at that. We we um we uh, um, yeah, thanks, Gary. See that, and I'm I can't wait to hear that. Um, that idea. That's yeah, what they, I was saying. I, I didn't know where to go. I, I don't know how yeah, to find them. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Well, we're going to go look. I'm sitting inside my account at the moment. If okay. you can uh, give me a button push where to go, then uh, well, I can you know, take a do, note do, of it. Well, you know what? Do you, I, I, I'm going to admit to you that I am not the, the, the expert of analytics. My analytics expert is not here with us tonight. So uh, let, if you want to share the screen, we can kind of explore together. I'm fine with doing that. Uh, but normally I would have Gina go through analytics because she's like the queen of analytics and she would do this in her sleep. Um, so if you want, if you want to share your screen, cool. If not, we can, we'll, we can do this remedially because I'm going to sit, I'm going to go through this after we're done today. It's a little bit late for me to call her now because of course it's, it's late on the East Coast US, but we'll, we'll get some answers as to where in analytics they are. The reason why we did and we programmed things this way was so that it would appear in analytics and we've seen it in analytics. So if they change the way they're displaying, no one sent me the memo. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got no problems if you want to share your screen. Okay, sure. I've Let never get... done it over, over the meeting. Okay, well, hang on. I'm going to make you. I'm going to make you a presenter, and all you do is accept. All you do is accept that, and we'll and take a look at your screen. Before you do that, yeah. maybe uh, privacy go. information. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait, yeah. oh, hang on. Um, close your screen for one. Well, actually, it's not showing anything. Real quick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you live and on the recording, and maybe Wolfie, if you want, I can remove this from the recording because this is private information. Whatever, whatever you guys are seeing here um, is Wolfgang's information. It is not your information to share with anybody. This is confidential. So, if Wolfie's sharing it, it's because he's being generous to do so to help everybody. But his information is private and, and his own. So, Wolfie, you tell me whether whether you're okay with leaving this in the recording or do you want, want us to pull it out, and I will be happy to do whatever you like. Yeah, look, I've got no problems. This is a play around account and a play so, uh, site as well, where, okay. which I use mainly for testing, so go for it. Okay. okay the cool. only thing I've got, though, is um, in uh, 10 minutes or so, I need to finish because I've got a uh, scheduled call with a student. No worries. Okay. Well, let's, let's get to it. So... Uh, you should be looking. You should be pick this. Pick the site that you are that you have your wraps in. This one. Okay. Now there's there's a place. Uh, and the only the wraps that I've done in this one is uh, basically to keep them on my site, but to actually take them to an affiliate link. This is a complete affiliate shopping link. Okay. Perfect. Site. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. Let's see some other word. Oh, free. Okay, so hang on a second. I'm seeing what questions coming in. So we want to do. We want to. Show, we actually want to look at, at our pages, and I'm going to really tell you how, how, how ignorant I am, because um, I don't remember where to where to actually look. If anybody knows where to where to do that, please pop in because I I'm totally going to show you guys how, how how ignorant I am here. There there is a there is a place where you see all of the pages to your site and, and where they're coming from, and I'm not sure if it's behavior or acquisition. Is it behavior and engagement? Take a look. Yeah, you're seeing pages and bounce rate rates right now. Um, look at yeah, look at look. You've got 20 visits, 20 visits that your number, your largest visits, by the way, are going up to 60, 60 to 1800 seconds. So that's that's two minutes, two minutes to to what six times three, six minutes, two to two to six minutes, two to three. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, yeah, I've seen that number before. Arcad. What's that? What's that, Gary? You need to know what pages they are actually staying on, rather yeah, than. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know. I tell you what. Let rather than rather than try and figure this out, and 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 why don't we? We'll go ahead and do our homework on the back end, and we'll either do a session or we'll create a video for you. Is that cool? Rather than wasting time trying to sort it out ourselves. All right. No worries. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather I, I, I again because I'm feeling kind of kind of powerless here. I would rather I'd rather not waste your time. We'll go ahead and, and I'll I'll get with Gina tomorrow. Um, hopefully, if not, I have a normal call with her on Thursday. We'll sort this out for you guys so so we can get that sorted out. Okay, I think it's, I think it'll be I think it'll be better that way for you guys. Um, okay, do you want to take the screen over again then? Yeah, no problem. I'll get it in a second. Um, we we have a, a logo on the screen. That's cool. 
So, um, okay, Cynthia is saying the only issue I noticed was receiving a reminder that the site wrapped expired. Yes, we did. We we wanted to be sure that everybody got current uh, current software. So we we did expire them on November thirtieth, um, and everyone should have the new version now, which which at this point is just just a. Um, uh, I think the color picker was added, and that gave you an expiration date till the end of December. We're going to release next couple of days the new version with um, uh, with the features that you've seen here uh, and your suggestions implemented as well. So let me just uh, so that'll be that'll be available to you now soon. And I don't know, Matt, you can jump in and let me know. Um, uh, we're going to have automatic updates within WordPress. the The reason why we don't have it right now is that it takes a while to get set up within WordPress's system and Quite frankly, our priority was to get the features done and programmed for you, um, and so that was our first priority. We will be adding that automatic update, so you won't have to continue to do what you're doing right now. And I'm not sure what what the timing is in that. Matt, you want to give me any kind of any kind of a thought on it? Um, that that should happen within the next couple of weeks. Okay, great. Um, yeah, and we and we did we did do expirations also. Uh, Cynthia, because during beta, some of the, you know, again, the, the, the software is changing weekly, if not, if not daily, we wanted to be sure that people were not using outdated software. So, you know, this, this kind of protects the, the matter. Um, and, and, and quite frankly, the, the deal with our beta people is as well, is that uh, if you participate in a beta, you know, you get the benefits that came along with, with, with being beta. If you didn't participate, you don't get them. So, so it gave, also gave us the ability to control who has access to the software. So, and we have a whole licensing piece in, involved with that. So that's kind of cool. Um, Tosh is asking, are you saying it would get- to test that the licensing software is yeah, working. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, and, and Gary, your suggestions have been implemented, by the way. Um, that, was part of the that was part of the last update. <laughs> so we had, some, we had some security things that we've added. Um, Tosh is asking, are you saying that you're getting extra income but not sure if it's related to the software? Um, that was, I think that's what part of the question is, if, if you knew that, that you wrapped your, your pages for an affiliate product, you're, you're going to pretty well know where, where the income came from because it, it came from that wrapped page. But I think that the question is, if you're looking at time on site and how much traffic those pages are getting, that's what we have to determine. And if you can't find those pages, <laughs> it makes it kind of difficult to measure. So we're going we're gonna to work on helping out with that measurement system. Um, make sure I get everything else answered here. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cynthia Cynth Cynth is saying, if I hadn't been working on my site, I would have freaked out to not see my wraps working. So remind people to look at that. Yes, I emailed everybody um, before that ended, uh, to, uh, to make sure they did the update. So you, and by the way, when we do the next update, of course, you'll get an email with that. Um, so that'll be available to you as quickly as we have it. Um, yeah, let's Ken? see. Yes. Um, it's Cindy. When you send that email out again, um, could you remind everybody that they need to delete the plugin that's in there first before they download it? Because yeah. I tried it the other way around, and then I remembered that somebody else had said that on the first time we had an upload, but it didn't say that anywhere to do it, and it would just be so helpful not to have to remember to do that. Well, you know what? I, I gave that instruction to Mark to add to the instructions. Um, Linda, Linda, you might want to no, – you're good now. Okay, welcome. Um, you That should have been in the instructions, so I apologize if it's not, but that, those were my instructions specifically because I didn't want the question. And by the way – uh, the person who helped remind me about that is is the eminent Linda Feinholz because she she kept 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 emailing me and saying so how do I do this again <laughs> so so uh, so that was very very appreciated and I I instructed Mark to do it it may it may not have been done and if it's not done it will be done uh, for the next update so I apologize if it's not um, can, so yeah can it not be included as a loop before installation that it checks if a previous version is there. I don't know, Matt. Because right now, what it does is is you, we upload manually. So I don't know if that's if that's going to be a, a can, can there be a check loop done to see if an existing yeah that, that's possible version okay. is there that so that people people who are concerned about adding and deleting plugins. This overcome this potentially overcomes that area of concern. Yeah, that's a very good point. 
And this is why we have these calls. So great, thanks. Whether that's implementable for this next one or not, um, I, mm -hmm. I don't know, but we'll, at the very least, the instructions will be up there. So that way there'll be no, there'll be no question about it. Okay, and, and by the way, when I, when I did the update myself the other day, I didn't remember whether it had to be done or not. I had to ask Matt, so I, I, I'm with you on that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Linda says, did I was- Did you see Susan's question? So, I'm sorry? I said, did you see Susan's question? Uh, no, I didn't. Where is it? Let me see. Well, um, she's wanting to know about the blank pages. Okay. So I'm gonna try and unmute her okay. again. Where are you? I'm here. Perfect timing. Hey, gorgeous. Oh, yeah, there again up there in dangerous uh, Thailand. They say uh, there are riots. Uh, no, no I've, I've missed all the parties. So, no, I, I mean, we've had no, no, no tear gas and no, no nothing. I mean, it's. Oh, shuckins and shame. I know. I can't. Go back to the peaceful life. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell. I can't tell any stories about it. I, it's, it's, and I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> and I'm glad. Yes. I was just going to say, and that's a good thing. Thing too. Yeah, it is. So, Kim, so, so, tell me your question. That blank page I downloaded, and for the life of me, I can't get the things to work. I've, I've tried and tried. Should I go to the Fiverr people? Now I know about Fiverr. I've had it. Uh, sorry, I've had people there do jobs for me um, fairly recently. So sure. it's not something that phases me. Yeah. But. The question I think I asked earlier in the piece, and I was probably somewhat vague, so I'll get back to that and then come back to the blank. You know how you have your uh, booster with the rocket ship as your uh, header? Yes. You mean uh, when I'm talking? About... You mean like 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 uh, like this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Boost okay. your practice. Yeah. Yes, with the little with the little rocket. Yeah. So. When I'm talking about a transparency, is something to, like yours is, override what's on, there it is, on your CNN. Yeah. I haven't got anything that will sit above CNN or any other appropriate site. Okay. Now, do I go to Fiverr for that or should I uh, consult with your folks? Okay, so what it seems to me is, what's your website right now? I haven't got one. Oh. Uh, well, okay. Um, let me see. Let me see. I just gave up uh, in sheer and utter desperation. Let me see if I can get one up for you. Hold the line while I blather on. Okay. Uh, and, 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 well, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me see if I understand the question. It sounds to me like if you haven't built a site yet, you haven't built a header image, and the header. No, the, I haven't. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now, now there's two ways. There's two ways people are normally doing it. Some people are doing an actual header image and a, a header graphic, which is what this is. Uh, and you can yes. see it. I'm actually move, see I'm move, actually moving it around. That's just a graphic. Okay. Um, oh, I see. So, okay, that's all this is. So, so um, oh. some people just do text, and some some themes, for example, Optimized Press, for example, will let you do text on a background. And, and I'm not sure yeah. if that's, that's you with the noise in the background. But there's, there's, yeah, I guess it's you. Um, yeah, there's just a little bit of noise in the background on your background, Susan. Hang on, that could be the radio, but it's in the other room. Oh, yeah it's, it, yeah, it's coming through pretty loud, actually. Um, maybe, Goodness maybe, gracious. Yeah, maybe if you can close it. I must have a very good television. So I am the, now isolated. Okay, all right. Okay, well, anyway, so here's the, here's the deal. Um, I'm, sure I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you for a second while I, while I talk. Let me. Uh, um, where are you? Hang on a second. I'm here. I, I'm, okay, just do me a favor. Mute mute, mute yourself. Mute, mute yourself for a second, okay? Until I okay. Until, until until you're ready to talk again because it's too too much background noise. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right. So as I said, this is an is this is an this is an image, and you can see it like right here in the middle of the Ukraine article. So what you want to do is you want to get an image or get an image created for you. Now, people at Fiverr can easily create that for you and do it for five or ten dollars or whatever. And all you want to ask for is create a header for your website. And it's and it's it'll be it'll be on the graphic side. They'll ask you for your logo. If you don't have a logo, you should probably create one. Um, and that's a, that's a whole nother conversation about branding, which we won't get to today. But 
you, you'll create this this header. Now, what we've been suggesting is, and and thank you to Cindy for for raising this question. This let's say that, for example, Boostifier is a is is the brand of um, of, of other software that we're creating as well. You'll be hearing about that. Um, in any event, the the brand may say the same. You'll keep the logo the same, but your return button may be completely different. It may say return to site. It may say return. It may say you know check out the next offer. Whatever you you want it to say, you'll just create or have someone create that button for you and put it on the graphic. So what I do, for example, is I say to my to my team, um, hey guys, put make a button that says this and give it to me, and then we just load it into into WordPress. Pretty simple. So that that's. That's the long and the short of it. So it could be anything. I mean, for example, we, we've seen uh, we've seen Linda's header, okay, um, over here, and this is actually her site. Uh, when she wraps, the header will will continue along. Let's go back to her wrapped Daniel Pink, for example. Um, I love I, I love this page. So this is this is the header. This is the header graphic. See, I'm moving that around once again. So all you're going to do is cr is going to create that, and again, the, the people at Fiverr can easily do that for you, or anybody or anybody can for that for that matter. Wait, I, I got wait, I got to stop, I got to stop the video here. Stop video. Ah, hang on. Let me stop his. Wait, let me go back. I can't I can't stop the video. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait a second. He, he, it's there. We go. Okay, Whew. I couldn't get him to shut up. Okay, so Cynthia, you said you can't understand what? What did I? You can't understand what I was saying because it was noise in the background, or you, you can't understand what I'm talking about. And w was was this making sense to you guys? Okay, Susan, was this? Oh, let me unmute you, Susan. Okay, was this was this making sense for you guys? Yes, that's making sense to me. So really, it's a case of go to Fiverr and ask for a header or a header and graphics or both. Um, well, but well, yeah. it must be something that can be moved around. Got the idea. Well, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, not, it's not that it's necessarily moved around. As it's, I'm going to mute you. It is is that it is that it's something that you'll upload into into WordPress as a graphic. Okay, and then it can it'll go on your pages, and they'll probably ask you for the dimensions of your website. For example, uh, on ours, our the dimension of our header um, should be nine seventy seven by one ten, if I'm correct. I'm, and I know the height is one ten. The width usually is is nine seventy seven, which was the default. That's nine hundred seventy seven pixels wide. But that but your header width will depend upon what your theme is. And in your theme setup, whatever that is, it will tell you what what you use. And then what we've been doing, and the reason why we've been asking for the background color is because we because if this is the header here, see, it doesn't go all the way across. So we have to match the side of the of the color so that this, for example, see see if I'm going down. You see where that where the um, the color changed a little bit. That's the header, and the the blue to the left is the filler of that of that color that we've been using on the color picker you see so if we didn't put that in and if, we, if it stayed white then we would just have <clears throat> we would have boost your practice uh, or the header on top of the apple site and there'd be like a white space where right now you see the dark blue but because we we put the the um the, the color in here it goes all the way across so a strategy fyi is that each side of your header needs to be the same color. You'll notice that the color blue on, on the right side is the same as the color blue on the left side. If it wasn't the same color, then you would it would look dumb because one side would, would match, the other side wouldn't. So make sure that you that whatever you're doing in your in your graphic ends before the end of the uh, if I have a swirl or a swoosh or something like that, make sure it ends within this image, uh, within this image over here. So that that way the side colors uh, continue along. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, and if you don't do it right, you'll see instantly that oh my gosh, it looks dumb. <laughs> so and ask me how I know that one. So uh, hopefully that that will help you. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Cindy says I'm so glad you added the color chart. That was driving me crazy to fill, figure out the color codes. Yeah. And and there is a a plugin that you can get um, that will actually allow you to. Click on a uh, on a color online and determine what the col color code is to match. Um, you'll see it on my screen over here. 
and it's uh, I forget what the plugin is called, Color Pick Color Pick Eyedropper, and so you can go ahead and you can just kind of put your little eyedropper on there, and it'll and it'll pick the color for you. I'm I'm doing this in Chrome, and if you go into one of our other tutorials, it, we actually we actually did that for you. We, uh, Gina demonstrated that for us. I think it's on our second or third tutorial, so you can find that in there, and just just pick up the tool. It's free. So cool. Um, I have several stupid looking pages. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but that's why. Because because your ends don't match. So your ending color needs to match on the same side. And like I said, if there's some kind of a, a swirl or something going around, make sure it ends so that that way when you add the your side colors, uh, it doesn't, again, it doesn't look dumb. And again, a very basic thing. To a very basic mistake and something that, trust me, I've done many times, which is why I make sure to tell you. Okay. Um, other questions, other feedback, other features that you want, things that you would love for us to add that we haven't thought of yet. I keep, I keep, you know, Matt said this has gone from 300 lines of code to now over a thousand lines of code, and we have more to add to make this better for you. And you can just pop in the chat or talk. Boy, everyone's so quiet. Anything else? Okay, Cynthia says you rock, Matt. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> we appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so what else is coming up while I wait for you guys? Uh, we have the, the, uh, the pop-up coming. And Matt, what other features have you and I talked about that I'm forgetting right now that we're working on that we want to tell them about? Well, apart from um, having the um, automatic activation of, uh, or rather, uh, automatic use of uh, the blank page template yeah. upon publishing, um, I am working right now on getting that um, uh, retargeting codes in. Right. And then, um, in terms of the user interface, uh, it's I'm working on. Uh, getting it to be easier to use, more intuitive in terms of um, not having to display all of the 10-page boxes um, when you're only going to be using a few of them. So it's going to be created on the fly. Perfect. And there's a couple more things too. For example, with the pop-ups that we're adding, um, you'll be able to do some cool things within the pop-ups. Uh, in terms of ad, of having some some um, standard, uh, how do I say this? Uh, standard formatted options, kind of kind of like what if you if you've used some of the uh, current exit pop up uh, software, where they they'll give you three or four or thirty four different templates. We'll give you a few templates that you can use within the pop ups to to just add some language and and away you go. And of course the the, the pop up will also allow you to collect data, which is a big one for me. Because I want you to be able to collect data to build your list. Really important stuff. We looked at, for example, in one of our webinars, and, and a lot of you guys have, have have heard this, and some of you, some of you haven't. But um, last year, I was with with, uh, with my friend Jim Graham up in in Chiang Mai, Thailand, at an event, and I literally watched over his shoulder while he did a WordPress, a um, sorry, a Facebook campaign, and generate generated twenty four thousand dollars in in uh, affiliate commission over two days. I mean, it was like watching a slot machine. It was crazy. And, and he, uh, what he did, he drove thousands of, of, of clicks to a website for this product called Sky Builder. And, you know, I don't know how many people actually bought it. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that it may have been 50 sales or something that generated the $24,000. Uh, but whatever it is, if he had 50 sales and he had a couple of thousand or so hits and he can track that, um, that means that he has, if it was a couple thousand, it means that effectively 1,950 uh, people went through his site, didn't buy, they lost forever, that he could have collected some if he had, if he had a site wrap being used. He could have engaged people with a pop-up. He could have kept people on, on his site if they didn't buy SkyBuilder, because obviously the, the bulk of his visitors didn't buy it. The good news is the ones that did made him a lot of money. So what we want to do is we want to give people the opportunity when they come to your site to collect their information, to get them to opt into your list. And so that's coming. And again, it'll, it'll be integrated to, to make this one solid piece. Now, again, you can use something right now because this is WordPress. But my intention is 
to not be relying on WordPress because a lot of people don't understand how to use it anyway. And for people that, that are just getting started on the web, I want to make this an, a, an integrated uh, package so that it's all together. And, and that's, that's our intention. So what other features you want, let us know. And additionally, if they don't fit, for example, then we'll just make additional WordPress uh, tools, which we have a long list of things that we'll be adding. This is, this, quite frankly, I, I'll, I'll share with you, this is, for us, this has been uh, a change in our entire business strategy because this has gone over so well. People have been loving this so much that really what, what we're doing now is focusing on providing you with more tools and training to utilize those tools. To, to, to enhance your current businesses rather than us going into different markets and becoming just trainers. Now we're looking to, to help you automate your, your business with some of these kind of tools. And it's, it's been a lot of fun. So you help us drive this business. Your guidance helps us decide what we're going to do next and, and gives us feedback on how to make things better. So, and I, I got to tell you, I'm having a blast doing this. So I'm grateful to every single one of you. And even if you have a problem or a complaint or a criticism, that just helps us get better. So I'm, I want to hear those. Um, so Cynthia is asking in review, funnel pages, yes, that's coming up the next couple of days. Matt's going to put the fine tuning on it from what you saw earlier. Um, the um, redirect, what, what do you mean by redirect? I don't know if I'm forgetting that. Pop-ups are coming, lots of training and amazing service to help us boost our website. Um, question, would I want to plug in like this? Absolutely. Yeah. We're, we're, and again, we're trying to avoid the word plug in. Oh, something else I need to talk to you about uh, affiliate program. We are, for those of you that have, have made some sales, we're going to be processing your affiliate payments either later today or, or tomorrow. So if I don't have your, your PayPal address, I need to make sure I have those so we can get you all paid. We'll be, we'll be running our, um, our payments either every week or every other week, depending upon how scheduling goes. I'll, I'll let you know more clearly about that. In the future, uh, no one will be able to join the affiliate program unless they're like a big JV partner that's mailing or doing a webinar or if, if they bought the software. We're not going to let people sell this without knowing what they're getting uh, because it, does, it doesn't make any sense to me. Once you start using it, people get incredibly enthusiastic as you guys are, uh, and then it's easy. You know, then it's just tell your friends and bam, you're going to make money. So uh, the affiliate program will pay you out. 50% uh, of, of the net receipts. So effectively consider that to be 47.5% after, after uh, merchant charges and stuff. It's automatically computed. Uh, we'll also do a, uh, we have affiliate tools for you, emails and stuff. Um, and I'm also going to be creating probably later today um, because we're going to be off opening up that, that whole thing um, sometime this week to, to others as a means of selling the, the software. Uh, we'll give you a, a, a tutorial on how to get into the affiliate area within Infusionsoft. So all that's coming uh, for, for you guys. And we want you to sell all of it. Uh, pricing is going to be going up. Um, everyone here has gone in for the $97 um, pricing. Uh, it's going up to the $197 and, and it'll go up gradually. So uh, it'll probably be $97 for the next week and then it'll be 127 and 157 that kind of thing until we until we cap it out at 197 so there'll be some emergency built in um gary's asking matt what is the status of the tool tips it's a good question because i don't know the answer to that and i and it probably oh, the tool tips yeah let me remind Under you dashboard. That the blue, blue little buttons beside every yeah. push option oh, to yeah, sure. down on the FAQs. Yeah, yeah the question We're going to that on the next installment. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So that's like the one that's coming out in a couple of days, Matt? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys, it may not be tomorrow then. It may be like three days just because I know how things go. <laughs> so, so um <laughs> but you'll get it. But 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 I would. But Matt, I would rather I would rather give it to them all together because I don't. Because I mean, frankly, yeah, to, to to install, uninstall, and all that. Let's just do this. So if it's an extra day, I'm sure everyone's going to be okay with that, right? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. The redirect for someone's leaving the page. That's going to be with the exit pop up. Um, I have to go over it again. Will it be on the site? Um, when you're saying go over it again, do you mean the tutorial? Uh, this everything that we're doing. Margaret is, is recorded and it will be in the members area for sure. Um, and Gary, I'm not sure what you mean by ethical affiliate program. Ethical, 
ethical affiliate program means that if anybody is promoting it, they have used the product. Yes, they yes. They are not what I classify as an affiliate spam marketer. Ah, thank you. Yeah, I, I really think that, I mean, to me, friends referring friends to stuff because I'm using it and I love it is is the coolest thing. And, and there are emails I want to start sending to you guys of, of cool things that I found that are like free or great or cool that, that will help you um, and that are not to spam you, but are just like, they'll help you. Um, and every now and then I want to send things that are just like funny or inspirational, or whatever. And I've, I've stopped doing, I'm not doing that because I don't want to, I don't want you guys overwhelmed with emails, but we'll, we want people that, that want to share it because they want to share it and get, if you get paid for it, even better. Um, um, Jennifer, just um, right now, just because you and I are on Skype, just Skype it to me, and I'll and I'll I'll take care of that. Thanks. Um, Cynthia says, "Now I understand. Good. Whatever it is, I'm glad you understand." <laughs> Some of the questions are out of order, so so thank you. Um, uh, okay, so let's see. So yeah, so so the um, so yeah, so we definitely want you to promote. We want you to make money using this in every possible way. A lot of people have asked for uh, for affiliate programs that they can promote or products that they they can promote. We're going to be providing that, and um, and Jim Graham and his team are for for some of you that 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 joined us as a result of the webinars we've done with Jim. Jim's team will be making um, will be setting up a WordPress site for you guys, and uh, and we'll be picking links or or affiliate programs that you can promote. We only want to, and I will, by the way, for everybody here. For, for most of you guys, this is redundant, but we only want you to ever promote something that you believe in, something that you think is good, not just because you can make money, but because it's something that, that if someone comes back to you and says, I think that was dumb, you can say, no, this, this is actually a cool thing, and here's why. If, you, if you're sending junk out to people, um, then sooner or later, this is, is going to suffer from it. So, so send stuff out that you actually think is going to be helpful, that is going to help people enhance their business, enhance their lives, and enhance the lives of their customers. I mean, that should be fundamental, but sometimes when, when it's the end of the month and you know, the bills aren't paid yet, you're like, let's send an offer out because we want to you know, supercharge the bank account. Do it only if it's, if it's synchronistic with what your message is and what your, what your brand is about, okay? Because uh, otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself big time. Longer, in a, in, a, in, a, in a deeper hurt than the pain of the, the cash flaw this month. Okay, so again, think long term. Really think long term, and that will help you tremendously. Okay, um, I, that's just something that that I found to be true over over time. Okay, any other questions? We're, we're, I want to I want to kind of make sure I get everybody sorted out, everyone answered, and then I want to wrap it all up with some with some um, takeaways. And um, by the way, I, I, uh, I've scheduled these, these meetings. How is this time working for everybody? I know Aileen's not here, and i got to find out where she is because I, I miss her. She's usually on board, and this would have been starting at 11 or 12 midnight for her. But I, tried to, I looked at what time would work best for just about, just about everybody. That's not too late for the Americans. That's not too early uh, or late for the Australians. That is not the middle of the night for me because at 3 o'clock in the morning, trust me, I, I love you guys, but I really – Want to be sleeping, so this this time seemed to work out really well. Uh, Seven o'clock in the morning, Bangkok time, uh, ten or eleven o'clock Sydney time, depending upon time of year. Um, uh, so Jane saying saying it's great. Mark says it's terrific. Um, Margaret says thanks so much for this inform informative session. Thank you. So has this been a problem for anybody? Is it, is it working out for all of you guys? Because that's I, as I said. Anybody I, for anybody who's got a problem with it, they're not online. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. So, and, and if you're watching this on the replay, oh, too bad. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to probably make this our default time. Uh, I, wanted, I also wanted to be considerate. I mean, um, Gina usually likes to join us on these things, and she doesn't like to do anything at, much after 7 o'clock. So we made it like the, the end of her, of her time frame was like she always adds value to our training. So, um, uh Jennifer says this timeline sucks for me, but but there's a recording. It's 4 p.m. for you. Sorry, sweetheart. Um, Deepak's not loving this. Deepak, where are? It's two o'clock in the morning. Where are you? Um, Cynthia's laughing. Um, so yeah, we may still have to juggle things around every now and then, guys, and just and just change some timing so that we're equally unfair to people. But I tried to keep this as 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 equal as we could so that we get the bulk of our our users on. 
Um, so we may have to modify a couple of things. But uh, thanks for the feedback. So any other any other questions or takeaways? Um, I'm going to be looking to you guys for testimonials over the next uh, and, and case studies over the next week. So and this is primarily for you guys that are in, in beta one and beta two. Um, so uh, be be prepared for that for that email. But what what kind of takeaways do you have from with us for today? And this is where you all get to join in. What have you learned today? What's your takeaway? Come on. I, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> oh, oh, somehow everyone just got unmuted. Okay, so so who, who's got some takeaways for today? Oh, oh, people typing it in. You can talk. Most of you have been unmuted. Um, Jane says, amazing that it just redirects and finds my community. Cool. Um, Jennifer's, Jennifer's saying, two headers, one content site, one, uh, one affiliate offers. Yeah, thank you. That's great. Um, Cynthia says, I'm going to rock my niche. Mark says, more features than I expected. Thank you. That's cool. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Yeah, we keep trying to add more stuff to make it better. Anybody else? The importance of testing and tracking. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we want to add more features to that for you guys. And again, we will we will probably be be if we if we add some tracking to this, uh, it'll be re it'll be relatively basic. But we are going to be creating a complete uh, tracking and uh, and measurement tool, a dashboard, uh, and that'll be a separate, a completely separate program. And, and again, that that will take a lot of programming. It'll be a lot of API sort of stuff that that um, we'll be doing. I'm creating it for me, and once we get it the way I like it, um, it'll be available for for sale. So um, it's coming. I mean, because trust me, it, it, to, unless you measure it, you can't improve it. And, it. and if you're not measuring it, it never happened. So I want to keep me focused for my business. And I think that once we have that nailed down, it will really help you with your business. So you know exactly where you are with Timeline Site, with engagement, with your sales, with your leads, with your, with your sales that fell through, real important. If you're not, if you're not looking at your cart abandonment, you're list, missing opportunities. You know, someone's coming through and, and leaves your cart. All those things are things you got to measure. And as you fine tune each one of them, and if, if you start at the very beginning in, in terms of just getting them to open up your email, one a 1% a change there can be a 30% change at the bottom line because that's the biggest part of your funnel. So we want to be looking at, at all that, and I want you guys to be looking at all that. That does not relate to, to, to uh, iBoostify site wrap. But it does relate to the success of everything, and you need to have those kind of tools. So we want to create them for you. Um, oh, perfect, Gary. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I, I can meet with you right after this if you want. So just let me know when's good for you. I'll, I'll meet you on Skype in just a minute, and we can pick a time. Any other takeaways, guys, or suggestions can or I comments? Hey, Cindy. Um, I just want to say that I'm so excited about the program, I mean, uh, as we all are. But um, as soon as we can get the uh, analytics so we can actually see the progress, it's like, you know what, I've been using it, well, I was one of the first, you know, in the first round, so I've been using it for a month or so. And I feel, you know, in myself, I feel like it's good, and I feel like, you know, that it's doing what it's supposed to do, but until you actually see that, you know, you really don't have any idea. So I'm excited before it gets here. So I'm sure it's going to be awesome when I actually find it. <laughs> yeah, and and if you get to Gina before I do, um, mm -hmm. let's let's ask her that question uh, because okay. we we need to be looking. And and she, and, and she, I mean, she lives analytics. Uh, this this woman is like she's a genius with that stuff. And we designed this to be able to access it with analytics. And frankly, she's been monitoring yours and some of our other some of her, her high-end coaching students, for those of you that aren't, aren't aware, uh, she's, she actually goes in and, and sees their analytics and helps them, <clears throat> helps them boost those analytics. <clears throat> she's got a, an amazing high-end coaching program. So, because um, uh, Cynthia says that Gina did an analytic training on Saturday and it was amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll find the replay for that. So we need to find out where in analytics and, and Gina will share that with us. I'll get her, I'll get her on board to do that. But if, if you guys, uh, for those of you that are in, um, in in the bachelor's program, Gina's bachelor's program, for if you guys get to her before I do, uh, then let's ask her and we'll get we'll get that accomplished. I thought she'd be here tonight, but apparently she had some other place to be. <laughs> so so uh, yeah, I, that's important for us, and particularly when it comes to uh, our new sales pages. 
and by the way, I'll show, share with you real quick, or if I can find it here real quick, where did it go? Um, I put together a new, uh, here it is. This, this was not sent to you guys that were automatically beta testers because there was no sense in sending something you already had. <clears throat> but um, we, gave, we gave people the seven hours left on the sale uh, for iBoostify SiteWrap. And this is the new, this is the new sales page. Uh, it has gotten the Linda Feinholz seal of approval, so that means we can actually use it. And thank you, Linda, for that, for that great feedback you gave me. So uh, this, is, this is pretty much the, 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 the site that we've got. We had a lot of feedback on this. And um, uh, Rhonda Delbache did, did a great job helping us with some of the copy as well. So it's all in here. And um, obviously some updates with the new branding. But um, it's, it's, all, it's all there. I want to see you guys with your pictures and your testimonials down here as well and with your case studies. So definitely, Cindy, I want your results and I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to get you guys on here and get links to your sites as well. So that's, um, that's, and that's, you go to iBoostify.com. That's what you'll see right now at, at the main, at the main page for the next, at least for the next seven hours, the way it's set up. So anything else? Let's see. Mark, thank Can you very much. What's that? Can we use this site? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in your affiliate, in, in your affiliate area, um, within the next couple hours, I will populate uh, that offer, and you guys can go out with it. This was this was not. This you was, need this, to take WP wrap, wrapper off of like two thirds of the way down. I know that the, I what that is, Gary. Is that's on the video, so that's that's got to be changed. Okay. Yeah, that's I, this. I did this kind of on the fly. Was this was a this is this is the video. That's what you're looking at. Um, yeah. So I know. I, I mean, it, it, this that's why that's why, for example, this. At the top says that the branding's been changed and so on. If you look, the first three slides of this okay. of this YouTube video reflect on that. Tasha says she. Cool. Thank you. No, I know I did too as it went through. Uh, Deepak says roll out that retargeting ASAP. Um, <laughs> Deepak says right now the ads that, that follow me on Facebook are from insurance companies and undertakers. <laughs> I don't know Deepak, but I, I think you need to look where you're going. Um, um, yeah, Linda's asking a question. What, any word about ClickBank wrapping? Last conversation with Gina is that she talked to ClickBank, and they had no problem with what we're doing. Um, we, we do want to get a, a memo from them, but she's not. I, I haven't heard anything further. But there was not going to be an issue with ClickBank at all. So, and that was that was the verbal. So uh, I don't think you need to worry about that. So, so wrap away. Um, that okay. Is major. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, well, we want to get a memo. And what I said to her was I would love to be able to say ClickBank approved or whatever and kind of broadcast ClickBank. She doesn't think we're going to be able to get that. But there's been no further conversation about that. And with, with a Thanksgiving holiday, she and I didn't have uh, our call last week to, to go over that. So we w I will follow up with her on, on the status of ClickBank because she was, she was handling that. So cool. Good question, Linda. Thank you. Anything else, you guys? Okay, I will get you some, some affiliate stuff. Um, I'm going to be meeting with Gary in a minute. Then we'll work on, on, on giving you links to that affiliate area, um, particularly for you, Cindy, right now since you've asked for it. And um, uh, if you guys want to do any kind of special promotions, you know, my job is to sell this um, so that uh, everybody benefits. So uh, if there's something special that you want to do, we'll see what we can do for you that would be kind of special and, uh, and get some promotions made. Happy to do it. So everybody, thank you again very much. Any final comments from anybody? Okay, cool. Well, thank you all so much for, for being with us today. I'm so excited to have been able to bring you this and you make it worthwhile for, for me. And, and Matt, any, any final comments on your end? Um, all good. Thanks, guys, for attending. <laughs> Matt, you're always, you're always so inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I try to be, you know. <laughs> whenever, whenever we try to do the videos, I want to do the videos of Matt so like he could be yeah. part of it. And he's like, that's that's funny, like when we talk, but I don't know. It is like doing the videos. Recordings will be up as soon as we can get them rendered, Linda. It's two hours, and we got to populate it. So figure a few hours. Um, okay, looking. Tasha saying looking forward to WordPress templates from you. My current WordPress is difficult. Matt, let's work with Tasha directly so we can get her set up. Um, yeah, sure thing. Um, yeah, it's, 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 I'll, I'll just look for the email. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have. She's in support right now, so we'll take care of her that way. Let's get her set up. 
Uh, Cynthia says the bells were awesome. They were very inspiring. So wherever you are at the, at the, at the strike of, of 10 o'clock a.m. your time. Okay, everybody, thank you again so much, Gary. I'll be seeing you in a second. Everybody, thank you again. We'll see you at the next time. Um, look for emails from me and look for the, uh, the next update in a few days um, with all the cool features that we've showed you today. I, I, I can't wait to hear your feedback on that. So thank you again so, so much for your support. Tell your friends. Uh, affiliate links are in the affiliate area. And again, you'll be getting some details on that uh, next, uh, say, 24 hours or so. Thank you, everybody. I love you all.